One of the great things about coming to an IHRA Hooters event is taking home a souvenir. And you can get them here at the event or log on to speedtv.com, link to IHRA, and buy your stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of great stuff for you, too, and you can always keep up with all the IHRA action with Drag Review and, of course, you might even see a picture of some of those beautiful Hooters girls. Top Fuel semifinals coming at you. As you see them laid out there, Milliken and Hartman will race each other, and then it'll be Todd Payton and John Smith on the other side of the ladder, and we'll kick things off here with Todd Payton and John Smith. Isn't that great? 6,000 horsepower getting those skins down as they do their burnouts. You know, John uh, is uh, one of the guys that is coming along. He's racing well in NHRA, and he's coming over here, and I think his first IHRA national event victory on the Hooters Tour is going to come very, very, very soon. He's definitely made a great effort at a couple of events here this year. Nice to have him back, that entire team. Of course, his wife, Rhonda Hartman-Smith, also in the semifinals. We'll see her in just a moment, as she has a tough task as well. But we could have our first ever husband-wife final in Top Fuel with the IHRA if they can both produce a win here in the semifinals. Well, you see Barry Payton, Todd's dad there, and they're just happy to be going rounds. They didn't know whether they were going to make it to Richmond. They were going to concentrate on the Canadian events. But they're down here, and they're doing very, very well. Let's see what Todd and the Canadian team can do. Sitting right there at the starting line, they'll roll forward just a little bit. Car set on Max Cackle, who's going to the finals. Oh. All the holes flames are going. Oh, we got flames. Again, blows up the motor. This will be all. John Smith, 521, 258 miles an hour. You've got to think that John was there for the taking as well, but Todd not able to keep that motor together. Both in round one, he had a huge engine explosion and stole one. And here, right again, take a look at it. Boom, big explosion for Peyton. Yeah, that's two power plants in one weekend, and they're going to have to go back to the shop, get ready to go out to Edmonton and uh, show the Canadians out west what they can do. We'll take one more look here. Watch John Smith's run right at the middle of the track. You see the tires start to haze right there. Smokes the tires. That's where he lost all of his EET at, but managed to hang on. And, of course, he'll be up there talking to our Kathy Fisher because he is the winner. Let's go to the top with Kathy and John. John, great to see you going into the final again. Obviously, Todd had some problems, but your 550 is still going to put you into the finals. Yeah, it did uh, for the Prestone team. Uh, we're rooting for Rhonda right now. Hopefully, she can put a win together. But, uh, hey, my guys, we did a good job. We'll come back for the final and see if we can lay one down in the final. And uh, we'd like to go out there and run 450. You know, that's what we'd like to do. But we'll see what happens. We'll be good. Thanks. Good luck. Wow, those are some huge expectations, and you just see him blowing the tires off the car at midstream to get a 450 out of it. That'd be quite a setup, no question about it. You know, one of the big issues with these cars is some of the smaller parts and pieces, and as these guys do burnouts here to get ready for their semifinal round, Clay Millica and Rhonda Hartman-Smith, we thought we'd talk to Kathy Fisher and Bruce Litton to find out about some of the intricacies of the top fueler. We hear a lot of talk about the blower belt when it comes to the top fuel dragsters. What is this thing? Why does it cause so many problems when they lose it? And Bruce Litton, what exactly does this thing do? The blower belt is what connects the crankshaft of the motor to the supercharger. And uh, it's very important for the reason that, uh, you know, without the belt, you're done. And if what, what you'll see that as a car makes a good run, the, all the cylinders stay lit and, uh, you know, the, the belt's fine. But uh, if, if it ever happens to spin a, a tire, you know, that means it's going to drop a cylinder. It means you're trying to compress uh, liquid at this time and the belt will break and then, then you're done. So how often do you do you change the belt on your car? We got the Lucas car on a, a ever other run belt, you know, and it, but if it drops the cylinder, we put a new belt on the very next run. With a lot at stake, that's why you see Gates, Goodyear, and other companies really working on those blower belts. A blower belt going bad can mean sudden death. A lot of times the cause of the blower belt breaking, as Bruce mentioned, is because something inside of the motor has broken and the blower belt gets to blame for it. It's not always just the blower belt. Candles are lit, Ron Hartman Smith trying to hang tough for the champ, but can't get it done. It's Clay Milliken across the stripe first, 469. Excellent pass, of course. He'll have lane choice this time against her husband, John Smith. Well, just another great run by the Werner team. After the adversity they faced the last couple weeks, not a good race at Grand Bend, and then the flood down at the shop. They look like they're back on their game. No question, Milliken all over it with a 459 reaction time. That's phenomenal for a fuel car. There's a lot of stuff that has to go on to get those cars to leave hard and he got it all done right let's go up to the top end with kathy and our champ clay milliken clay going on to the final that's a familiar thing for you well you know what it ain't nothing easy about it to warner guys mike clover he just makes it he makes it easy for me but it ain't easy for these guys you know the one qualifying run the run while ago was an a to b we wanted to barely step it up and just not beat ourselves and 
whew, we got to run all them Fram cars. They just keep coming and coming. You know, sometimes I think there is an advantage to a two-car team, and, you know, they're getting twice the information, and Virgil thought he wanted to swap lanes, then he didn't. You know, he's trying to tear, tire my guys out. I know what he's doing, but that's all part of the game. And you know what? We're moving on to the next round, Werner Enterprises, 104 plus. Ah, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. I didn't work very long. Four points, something, something second. Six, nine. All right, I got to go to work now. See y'all guys. <laughs> that guy is all wound up. He's going fourth all the time, man. When we come back, if you like nitrous, we've got it. Two of them against two blower cars. Semifinals for Pro Mod. Come on back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hooters IHRA Drag Racing Series in Virginia. Ken Stout, Jim Marchson with you. At the top end, our third member of the team would be Kathy Fisher, and she's hooked up with another lovely lady from Top Fuel, Rhonda Hartman-Smith. Ron, it was great seeing you here this weekend. Obviously, the atmosphere conditions and everything else that you guys have been through this weekend, you still put on a great race. Well, it's tough. You know, with the rain, we only got one qualifying run, so we really didn't get a handle on the track. We were really lucky first round, ran good. Uh, we saw John's car smoke the tires. I think they backed it off a little bit because they were worried about that. Um, so I think that's kind of what hurt us. It definitely ate up the left side of the head and kind of disappointed in that. I really wanted to race my husband in the final, so we'll have to get him next time. I know the fans were looking forward to that as well, and I'm sure we're going to see that before the year's over with. Probably. I'm sure you'll see us in the final. I mean, we're two tough teams, and we'll just be right back in the thick of things. Rhonda, just glad that you're feeling better. Thanks. I feel a lot better. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Glad to see she's feeling all right. We're going to go into the Pro Mod semis right now, and we got Mitch Stott versus Pat Moore. I got to tell you something. Mitch told me an interesting story. Four years ago, you could run a season of IHRA Pro Mod for $50,000. Now, in 2003, in order to win this championship, he is going to spend $500,000. Speed costs money. There's no question about it. He used to be a nitrous car as well, now has the blower on top. He'll race a nitrous car, and Pat Moore, who had the two phenomenal reaction times, won on a hole shot in the previous round. Here we go, 446. Once again, Pat Moore with the better of the two lights, but it looks like Mitch Scott's going to get across the stripe first. 624, 224 miles an hour. Nice lap from Mitch Scott. He'll go to the finals again. You know, he's going rounds, Jim. Yeah, there's a happy Joyce Stott, Mitch's wife, and uh, yeah, it's just power here. Uh, Pat gave a good fight, but Mitch has got that uh, that engine going. He's got the car running, and he's tough. A lot of black smoke out of the back of Pat Moore's car there. Might have had the motor set up a little bit too fat, a little too much fuel, or maybe not enough nitrous. They didn't want to lean it out and hurt it. Didn't have quite enough power to get past that very tough-tuned car. Hey, Jim, we've got a great program for our sponsor racers here from a man that unfortunately is no longer with us. Well, the Mosier Axle Mania program is the largest one-day shootout in drag racing history for the sportsman. You'll see dragsters against bracket cars because of the unique handicapping. In the semifinal here, we had John Furr against Slate Cummings. Yeah, and Slate Cummings ran dead on. 463 on a 463 with a zero, a 526 light. That's a 26,000th package, and that'll line him up against a door car. Yeah, and that's what's neat. You got a drag streak against a door car. It's only an eighth of a mile, and there's a lot of money at stake here. I guess I should have said a door truck, a spectacular looking machine as Bogacki tries to get a win, but it's going to be Slate Cummings once again, who goes 462 and a 462 once again, dead on. The pride of Hamlin, Louisiana takes 22-5 large. Man, I needed it real bad. I just, it makes my year. I, if it wasn't for Moser, man, this, this is one of the best shootouts they could have. Uh, I owe everything to Moser, uh, to, Miss, uh, to the Moser family, excuse me. Uh, this is just a great deal for the racers, and they, they are just the awesomest people in the world. Thanks to the Mosier family for putting on this great Axelmania shootout. We appreciate it. The fans love it. When we come back, Pro Mod. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the IHRA. Hey, you can race the pros. That's right. Sit down at the port of tree and find out if you can cut a light against some of the best in the business. It'll tell you exactly where you stand. He lets go of the button. Man, he's ready to go racing. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, here's Shannon. Ooh. Yeah, he's purging that nitrous. Those lines are under a lot of pressure. They want to make sure that there's no air inside of him so that he gets the full shot. Four stages, it'll add just huge amounts of horsepower. In fact, well up over 1,000 horsepower just from the nitrous shot. We talked about it before. They'll carry their own oxygen in a bottle. Once again, it'll be nitrous versus blower. Shannon Jenkins, the reigning champion, is trying to get to his first final here in 2003. Or will we have two brothers, brother to brother? 69 Camaro, 63 Corvette. Oh, and right off the bat, 
Jenkins puts five hundreds on him at the starting line, but then has problems. Immediately sideways, a very hard launch, easy run for Quaid. In fact, Quaid is running this thing like a bracket card. That is his third consecutive 629 run. Boy, great job, no question about it. You're right, dude. Get the shoe polish out. He's definitely laying down some numbers. Let's take a look at Shannon's card. Just violent tire shake right there. As a matter of fact, it looked like it hit the bar so hard it might have unloaded the rear tires. Another quick look there at it. Just almost immediately back out of the throttle. The reaction time was good. Everything after that was ugly. And here comes Quain. Just a great job. Crosses the stripe, and he goes to his first final of 2003. Good job for Quain. It's all in the cards for it to be an all stock final with you taking Shannon, tire shake, and obviously didn't make it to the other end. You're 629 with your brother Mitch's 624. Yeah, Mitch has got lane choice, and he likes the right lane, and I don't really see a lot of difference in the lanes. Uh, I ain't going to sit here and talk about how I'm going to beat up on Mitch because every time I do that here lately, I get beat. So I'm just going to say we'll put on a good show. And uh, my mom and dad both here, uh, I think they're happy no matter which one of us wins. So uh, we're going to put on a good show for the fans. That's the main thing. So I ain't going to talk no trash this time. Wait till next time. I promise. All right. See you in the finals. Thanks. IHRA will crown a true box and no box ET World Champion with the Summit World Championship. Local box racers can win a $105,500 package, $55,000 in cash with that summit bonus, a turnkey worthy dragster, a world championship ring, and the IHRA Iron Man. Just call your local track and find out what it takes to become a part of the summit championship. As we take a look at our points leaders, it's Bill Cummings who's on top, followed by Kirby McLennan, and then the top five will be rounded out by Tim Lee. Just some outstanding racers across the country. Local no-box racers also get the same prize package, 105.5, the 55,000 in cash, a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP, and a rear Morrison Super Series racing engine. Be like B.B. Tate. She races at Chilton County down in Alabama, and she talks to her car to get that win. Become a true bracket world champion without leaving leaving your home track. The Summit Super Series presented by Pontiac, the way to go. As we take a look at our top five racers who do it by the seat of their pants with no box, they're headed up by Jim Adams. Congratulations, let's go to Kathy on Pro Mod. We all know that IHRA drag racing is a family sport and we're about to prove that. Pro Modified Final, the two brothers, Quain Stott, Mitch Stott. Quain, number one qualifier, Mitch has been doing very well. They've only raced each other one other final, and Quain Stott, well, he was the winner. We're going to find out how the family rivalry takes to the track and if it's going to be Mitch's turn or if Quain's going to take another final round. You want to find out? You better stick around. There is no love lost between these two brothers. You do not want to miss this final. I promise you, Quain wants to beat Mitch in the worst way.